And I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Today we're talking about Lake Mead, California, Colorado River, and much, much more. So if you like this content at the end of the video, please consider giving that a thumbs up and a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if not, no worries. And without further ado, let's roll right over to windy.com like we always do. And we'll start off there. As we roll in here to windy.com, you can see that up here by Vell, 6 inches, over by Aspen, 5 inches, down here by Crested Butte, 6.5. 3 steamboat springs up here we, we scoot up 1.7 this is the next three days we go the next five days and it gets a heck of a lot more so down here by aspen 11.9 over by Vail, so 13.1 there and down here you have 11.4 and over here by aspen you have 14 which is good news you can see that there's a decent swath here even over here in california they're expecting some snow over here by lake oroville as well 6.5 up here by mount shasta 4.6 and down down here as well 3.8 so that is what we got going on there and then as we go to rain accumulation to see what the rain accumulation is you can see that there's just not a whole lot coming to california 0.63 over here you get a little over an inch so there is some rain coming here just not a whole lot southern california is fairly dry except for right down here by san diego just to the east of san diego they're going to get 0.21 in the next 10 days not a whole lot of precipitation not a whole lot to talk about you can see that pineapple express is skirting the northern part of california but the majority of it's from basically middle of oregon up to alaska you have a good swath there i got some viewers down in idaho that are always wondering what their precipitation is going to be in the next several days over by twin falls over here you're going to get 0.6 and over here to the west 0.42 so you have that going on there and i talked about this on my last video the how wet it's going to be over here by st louis and beyond but i didn't really touch too much on the west and i'm going to do that today specifically so let's go to that right now and see what is going on all right so we're at the march and they're saying this is going to be 50 percent below normal there's a, they're going to say this is going to be below normal this is going to be about average you can see up here where it says above normal over here like i said the ohio valley of course is going to be wet just like we talked about the other night but look at this this is crazy as we go to the next one you can see that this is the three month outlook this is march april and may maam valid 2022 and look how much of the west is just completely utter with no precipitation whatsoever rain here pineapple express moves up here probably right through here below up here in alaska not very good news there and we go to the next one and here we are at the next one of course the ohio valley is still above normal and then check this out below normal all the way through here like through kansas city and down here through arkansas and louisiana just about normal even louisiana down here below normal most of texas is completely below normal not a good situation for the west this is not going to be this is going to be a real hot summer and this is april may and june 2022 you can see it right there and this was printed february 17th so not quite a month ago Go. this will change march 17th or so so we'll be watching for that let's go a little further out this is three month 3.5 month they're talking about june july august and you can see that the northern part of california and most of oregon and washington and idaho and montana wyoming south dakota north dakota parts of nebraska most of colorado is going to be well below normal you might have some monsoons this year they're saying it'll be about about a normal chance about a 50 percent chance of normal there and then of course this shifts a little bit for the ohio river it moves that way so we'll be watching that as well and then we go to the next one there's a big bullseye right over utah and colorado here new mexico and arizona majority of it's covered now the exception will be your monsoons this is august september october then we go to october and it gets real interesting check this out september october november majority of california is going to be completely this is going to stay about the same and actually saying that it's going to be equal the majority of the country with the exception of missouri and iowa is going to be completely above precipitation and then over here is going to be well below so not a good situation whatsoever long range 
range is looking bleak. We come up here, Alaska is looking the same, and then part of part of southern Alaska and below normal. Generally, this is going to be the opposite. Now, this could all change. Who knows? This is a very long way out. We'll go out one more. And this one here, this is for November, December, and January of 2023, basically. The end of 2022 into 2023 below. Check this out right here. Northern California below. This was this is when the rating season starts. You can finally see that it equals out across the country and it's not way above. Although down here, the wet part moves to Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia. It's going to be a 50%. The rest of the country is going to be equal. This is going to be below. So we'll have to be watching this very, very carefully to see if this really happens. It's a long way out, but we'll be on top of it like we always are. And we are now going to go over to the water levels. I want to start out today in California and see what is going on there. And then we'll scoot over to the Colorado after that. As we are over here at California Data Exchange Center, we are going to be looking at the outflows and the inflows. And we're going to start off at Trinity Lake. And Trinity is currently percent of capacity is 32%. And your outflows are 396 and your inflows are 741. We go down to Lake Shasta. As we roll down to Lake Shasta, the percentage of capacity is 37. Your outflows are 3,151. Inflows are 3,974. We go down to and Lake Oroville's 46% of capacity and 4,427 out 3,561 so that tells me that the Lake Stratton and we'll go down to Lake Folsom and see what those levels currently are at 53% capacity in your water levels 419.29 MSL and your outflows are 2,030 and your inflows are 2542 so actually the lake is gaining so that's good I want to go over to Lake Oroville Lake Shasta see how much the lake has come up or gone down I know Oroville has come down because of it's fallen so because the outflows are not matching the inflows we roll over to lake warville just like i said water levels for lake warville 746 feet msl sunday march 6 2022 at 11 a.m the level is 154 feet below full pool of 900 changes since yesterday it says that it's on the increase although we go back to the other it says that there's more water being released and coming in so i'm not sure how it came up that is bizarre because 745.62. So these two are completely off because one says 746.52 and this one says 746.0. And it says that the lake has actually come up 0.16, although it will go down tomorrow because it just showed your, your outflows. And it will go down quite dramatically. And you can see that it's trending down overall. So we'll be watching that. Let's go up to Lake Shasta and see what those are currently doing. Lake Shasta water level is currently at 938.81 feet msl sunday march 6 2022 at 10 a.m the level is 128 feet below full pool of 1067 changes since yesterday this thing has increased 0.03 feet let's roll over to flaming gorge and see what's going on over at flaming gorge and we're at the flaming gorge and the water level at the flaming gorge is 6018.03 feet msl saturday march 5th 2022 at 12 a.m the level is 21.97 feet below full pool and you can see it's on the increase 0.5 in the last 24 hours let's roll down to lake powell and see what's going on down there lake powell water level the water level at lake powell is 3526.19 feet msl saturday march 5th 2022 at 12 a.m the level is 173.81 feet below full pool 3700 and just like it has it just continues to fall every day 0 0.10 feet it has fallen and wow this is crazy this lake is going to be depleted and it's going to be depleted fast you can see that this thing just continues to drop 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 and drop some more unbelievable let's roll over to lake mead and see what is going on down there as we're at lake mead water level the water level at lake mead's 1066 0.10 feet msl saturday march 6 2022 12 p.m the level is 162.90 feet below full pool of 1229 feet changes since yesterday 0.11 feet this is the time of the year where it is on the increase and now it's just been nothing but on the decrease and this is not a good situation folks we need this lake to be filled and and it just keeps going the opposite way and as a matter of fact if anybody was wondering where dead 
Deadpool is. Inactive pool and Deadpool are two different things. So inactive pool is exactly what happens whenever the lake is no longer able to produce any more energy. 1,050, we're 16.10 feet above that. And below that used to be 1,050. So I think it's 950. But 890 feet in elevation, which is the lowest water level at the Hoover Dam for the outlet, that is complete Deadpool. That means there's no more water to be had. And they think that this could possibly happen by 2035. But to me, if the drop continues and the rain continues, and here's the problem, there's just the population has outgrown Lake Mead. And that is the biggest problem. Back in 1935, when this lake was built, the population was much, much smaller and not very many people relied on it. It was like 4 million. Now you got like 40 million people relying on this, these one series of lakes, the Colorado River. And eventually what will happen is the lake will just dry up if things don't change. And if they can't figure out another way for water to come out of it, it's just not going to be a good situation. So changes since yesterday, 0.11 feet, it continues to fall. And as a matter of fact, it continues to fall since 2000 by 12 feet each year. So let that wrap around your brain. That is just crazy. That's the average. So unbelievable. Let's go down to Lake Mojave and see what is going on down at Lake Mojave next. As we roll down to Lake Mojave, the water level at Lake Mojave is 641.72 feet MSL. Sunday, March 6, 2022 at 1245 p.m. The level is 5.28 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday, 0.12 feet. It, it continues to decrease. And now we will roll down to Lake Havasu. I got some viewers down there. Hello, Brad, and everybody else down there. I hope you guys are doing well. And down to Lake Havasu we go. As we roll over to Lake Havasu, the water level at Lake Havasu is currently 447.61 feet. MSL Sunday, March 6, 2022 at 12.30 p.m. The level is 2.61 feet above full pool of 445 and they're letting water out over to California from there. So changes since yesterday, it continues to fall 0.15 feet and that is all I have for tonight. I hope you guys are having a blessed day and we will see you on the next one. God bless.